The only reason why the Department of Justice is prosecuting Hunter Biden is because House Republicans actually investigated what was going on with Hunter Biden. That, I mean, that, you can say that, but that also shows, that also suggests Hold impartiality on, you raise a on the good part point. of... You I know raise it, a good I, point. It because also suggests we shame, impartiality we on the part the of the Department, of, Department of, Justice. of Justice into looking into Hunter Biden. Oh, you're right. Hello, and welcome to the new Communist States of America, where the ruling party has successfully captured and weaponized our justice system against their opposition, allowing them to quite possibly rig the next election, take over the Supreme Court, and destroy America as we knew it. The crazy thing is, from their perspective, they're saving democracy! It makes me so mad! They don't even seem to understand that for a lot of Americans now, this has nothing to do with Trump. It's about the left and the Democrat Party's attack on our institutions and elections. Now, I know you're all feeling sick to your stomach about what's happening, but I promise you, the clip I'm about to show you is going to make that feel a little better. Hey, that sounds pretty good! Republican Byron Donalds appears on CNN to battle a Democrat Party state operative host with the body language that leaves no mystery about the fact she knows she's the baddie. As what we're just talking about with Larry Hogan, that this as a new litmus test for Republicans. A litmus test? No. The litmus test is not for Republicans. It's for protecting our Constitution. It's for actually protecting the institutions of our country. You know, I'm sick and I'm tired of being lectured to by Joe Biden and everybody on the radical left saying they're trying to save democracy. No, you're not. Not when you twist the, the law into legal pretzels just to get a conviction. Not when you are constantly, voraciously investigating the same man over and over again simply because you don't like his tweets or you don't like his manners or his mannerisms. This goes all the way back to 2015, 2016, when they were spying on his campaign, when the FISA process was abused to go after a political rival back then, and it's never stopped. So this is not about, uh, oh, what the jury said. That's not true at all. This is about protecting our Constitution, protecting the institutions of our government. It has to be blind. It cannot be a respecter of persons. It cannot be a respecter of politics. Because once you go down that line, you actually destroy America. And that's where Joe Biden and the radical left are taking us. And it is disgraceful to see it happening in our country. <laughs> just want to jump in here real quick and point out all the strange body language and facial gestures that she's making the entire time that Byron Donalds is laying out these undeniable facts. I don't know. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And here's the rest of the clip. Real quick, but I know that you Todd said Joe Biden is twisting the law into knots and have talked, has just spoken out against the Justice Department and things you've said, though no evidence that Joe Biden has anything to do with a criminal case in New York. Let me stop you right there. Okay. Absolutely false and easily refuted, but I know you all want to see the rest of this clip, so hang around afterwards. Talking about the Department of Justice, this is the same Department of Justice if you're speaking out against it, saying that it's biased and unfair, that's twisting the law into knots that is also taking Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, to trial next week. I'm sorry, could you speak into my good ear? Well, I'm glad you brought that up. The only reason why the Department of Justice is prosecuting Hunter Biden is because House Republicans actually investigated what was going on with Hunter Biden. That, I mean, that, you can say that, but that also shows, that also suggests on, impartiality on the part point. of... You I know raise a good point. You raise a good point. It also because suggests we shame, impartiality we on the part of the Department, Department of Justice. Justice into looking into Hunter Biden. They tried to shove this gun charge into some other charge underneath it and it took a judge in florida to look at the indictment of uh, the the agreement that the main justice negotiated with hunter biden's attorneys to look at that and says this is a joke i'm not signing this and that is the only reason why that prosecution is going forward but let's take a step away from hunter biden Joe Biden's a violation of the Espionage Act. That's what Robert Hur said in his in his uh, documents. But the only reason he's not prosecuting is because he says he's an elderly gentleman. Meanwhile, Jack well, Smith is moving forward. Why? Because Jack Smith wants to get Trump. That is not true. Joe Biden took documents when he was a U.S. senator and a vice president of the United States. That is a clear violation of the Espionage Act. That's different. That was a whole different thing. And your elderly state does not protect you from violation, violating the Espionage Act. It does not. But that's what Maine Justice is doing right now under Merrick Garland. So you tell me what's fair. That's kind of hard. So you tell me what's fair. 
I'm, I'm not going to tell you what's fair. I'm just going to say it's the same Justice Department that is taking Hunter Biden to trial uh, in Delaware next week. A human. <laughs> Thank you so much, Congressman. We're going to wait to Only see because what were ashamed to do we're so. going to see what Donald Trump has to say when he wants when he speaks out. If he does. Gee, look at the time. Well, got to go. In regards to her blatant lie that there's no evidence of a connection between Biden and these prosecutions of Trump just before the election. There's plenty, including White House visitor logs of all these DAs meeting at the White House before the indictments dropped. Former Biden administration officials joining the prosecution teams. Joe Biden is also constantly bragging about the fact that Donald Trump can't campaign because he's dealing with these indictments. Under my predecessor, who's busy right now. <laughs> To my predecessor, who's busy right now. <laughs> I often get asked, look, the Republicans don't play it square. Why do you play it square? How do you ever make any progress if they're not following the rules? Well, You've got to send even... them to jail. Uh, you know, <laughs> there's that little box in there. Directly to jail? Go directly to jail. <laughs> Mr. President, can you tell us, sir, Donald Trump refers to himself as a political prisoner and blames you directly. What's your response to that, sir? Do you think the conviction will have an impact on the campaign? We'd love to hear your thoughts, sir. Should you be on the ballot, sir? And when it comes to Alvin Bragg alone, whose campaign was backed by the notorious George Soros and who literally campaigned on imprisoning Trump, which is something that the Democrats are currently rewriting history and lying about. A lot of credit has to go to Alvin Bragg. He remained silent during this entire trial, just as a prosecutor should do. And there's a lot of noise about how he ran on getting Donald Trump when he was, when he was campaigning. That is false. He very specifically did not say that he was going to go after Donald Trump. And so a lot of these arguments about the politicization of this case are just bogus. I sued Trump over 100 times for his administration's misconduct and brought a case against the Trump Foundation and held him accountable. I'm the candidate in the race who has the experience with, with Donald Trump. I was the chief deputy in the attorney general's office. We sued the Trump administration over 100 times. I know how to, to litigate uh, with him. I also led the team that did the Trump Foundation case. So uh, I'm ready to go wherever the facts take me. I'd be hard to argue with the fact that that's, that'd be the most important, uh, most high profile case. Uh, and I've seen him up front and seen the lawlessness that he can do. So I do have a lot of experience uh, with the former president. I think it's important to elect someone who is well prepared to pick up wherever um, the sitting district attorney leaves off. If, if, if brought would be uh, one of the most consequential cases I'm in the history of local enforcement and we need someone who's ready on day one. Repent! There's also the fact that these charges push the outer boundaries of the law and due process. The charges against Trump are obscure and nearly entirely unprecedented. In fact, no state prosecutor in New York or Wyoming or anywhere has ever charged federal election laws as direct or predicate state crime against anyone for anything, none, ever. And these quotes that I'm reading you came from a CNN senior legal analyst who described how the Trump conviction was a political hit job. He also stated that the judge donated money in plain violation of the rule prohibiting New York judges from making political donations to a pro-Biden anti-Trump political operation. I swear, these people just lie to our faces and I guarantee you that it's on purpose. During my live stream the other night, I actually compared it to the end of Braveheart where they've got him stretched out and they're torturing him in front of all of his supporters on purpose. They're doing it clearly to demoralize all of us. And make no mistake, if they get away with this with Trump, they're not going to stop with Trump. In fact, I have no doubt they'll go after other Republicans, probably all of them who won't bow to them. And then after that, they're going to come after all of us. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button, subscribe, and make sure to keep checking back for new videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.